Oh, I got rolled out. Whoop. <laughs> That's wrong. I really messed that up. Okay, maybe I can do it again. Can I do it again? Okay, let's try this again. There we go. And this, this is kind of hard to see, but there we go. Now we're getting it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to test out a new game called Bakery Simulator. Now I played this demo of this game several months ago on the channel. And I enjoyed it, had a good time with it. I want to give a huge thank you to Live Motion Games for sending me a copy of this game. I truly appreciate it. So we're going to test it out today and see how you guys like it. And the uh, they did have a tutorial. So we're going to run the tutorial. Now this game, a little what makes this game a little different from some other baking simulator games is after you bake the goods, you can actually deliver them to the customer. So that's kind of a new twist. I like it. I'm glad they did that. And also, you can remodel your bakery. You can change, uh, you know, the flooring and the walls, and you can add better equipment. So anyway, we're gonna do the tutorial today. Let's check it out. Welcome to your bakery. Your biggest dream came true. You've opened your very own bakery, and you're ready to flood the city with fresh pastries. However, it's just the beginning. There's a lot of hard work ahead of you. Build reputation, gain experience, and become successful in the world of baking. There's a lot of responsibilities, but don't worry. You'll make it. After all, this is all you've dreamed of. The first order is waiting for you. Let's go. Alright, use WSDA to move around the bakery and control to crouch. Use the mouse to control the camera. Alright, looks like we've got old oven over here. Got some baking trays. Go to the ordering board and press left mouse on the folder. Alright, this is how you're going to start your work from now on. Five minute bakery, three breakfast buns, rewards 150 cash and 5 XP. Press R to move on. On the left there's a list of shops with current orders. Now only one order is available, but later in the game you'll be able to pick up pick more than one request from a much longer listing okay on the right side you'll find a map with marked stops marked shopped shops excuse me based on it you can check the location of orders and decide which part of the city you want to make a delivery to all right so there's gonna be different parts of the city now pick the available order and press confirm and confirm Roaring Avenues, okay. After selecting order, it will appear on the ordering board. Press left mouse on a board to collect it. But before you move further, let me teach you about the recipe book, okay. Breakfast bun takes, looks like it takes wheat, wheat, water, milk, yeast, sugar. I do like the measuring, I remember the measuring system in this game. It looks complicated, but it's actually set up really nice. I do like, I do remember that. Let me teach you about the recipe book, okay. To open radial menu, press tab. Okay, here's the radial menu menu where you can switch between multiple tools and categories. All right, very cool. Select the recipe book now. There we go. Here are all the recipes that you already know. Right now, it's not that much, but don't worry. With every new level, you'll learn new ones. Bookmarks on the side make navigation easier. Okay. Each recipe page contains information about the steps required to prepare the order, as well as ingredients, mixing time, ingredients, and baking time. All right. You can choose the number of products to bake by using the arrows. The recipe will adjust accordingly. Press Escape to close the recipe book. The checklist is visible on the right side of the screen. It helps you to follow through the recipe and complete it perfectly. Okay. Are you prepared for some baking? Yes. Good. Press left mouse on the bowl to pick it up. All right. This bowl is average and small, but don't worry. During the game, you'll be able to unlock bigger and more professional bowls. You'll also be able to upgrade their capacity. 
Now it's time to collect the needed ingredients. Go to the ingredients rack. Okay. In the bottom left corner of the screen, you can find the scoops. Oh, the scoop size, Q and E. For now, you just need a one gram milliliter scoop. Okay. You can collect ingredients by clicking left mouse button every time you are using the scoop or pressing and holding the mouse button. By holding it, the spoon will refill itself one by one. Okay. Well, I don't see butter on my recipe. Why is it? Why is the butter highlighted? Oops, look at the checklist. It seems you've added the wrong ingredient. What will you do now? Okay, so one just to mess up. By the way, anytime you make a mistake, you will see the icon next to the failed step. Oh, the exclamation icon. Okay, all right. Don't worry, this mistake can be fixed easily. You can remove only the last added ingredient by pointing on the ingredient container. Okay. Click right mouse one time or press and hold to control the amount, to control the amount of ingredients removed. <laughs> oh, funny. Okay. <laughs> cool. But what to do when more than one ingredient in the bowl is wrong? You can remove them by using the trash bin. Let me show you how it works. Collect the highlighted ingredients to the bowl again. Okay. Now move to the trash bin and press left mouse button. Okay, where's the trash bin at? So they have actually they add a lot of stuff to this demo than the one I played before. Move to the trash bin and press left mouse by pointing on it. That's all your bowl. That's all. Your bowl is now empty again. Very nice. Remember, look, this method, you can get rid of the entire content of the bowl. Okay. You can also use a trash bin to throw away other things like burned bread or used bread forms, okay? Anyway, let's get back to baking. Okay. Look at the ingredients rack. It seems that one of the ingredients you need is missing. Don't worry. This is where the baking supplies tab in the radio menu comes in. So we've got milk, water, yeast, butter, sugar, and flour. What are we missing? Press tab to open the radio menu menu and select baking supplies. The baking supplies tab is where you can buy missing ingredients. Now choose the missing product. I guess it's wheat flour. Buy. Purchase products don't immediately arrive to your bakery. Usually you have to wait for the delivery to get them. This can be a tr little troublesome, right? However, you can speed up the delivery process, but be careful, it may cost you a little. Press U on wheat flour to speed up the delivery process. Oh, instant delivery, okay, but it costs, I don't know if that's 12, 12 cents, 12 dollars, I'm not sure. There is one simple trick which will help you avoid paying for a faster delivery or waiting for ingredients to, to arrive. Just buy all the missing products before choosing an order. Being prepared for the day will save you some money, okay? Now with all the necessary ingredients, you can finally start preparing your order. Now we can go back to the scoop tool. Look, this time you can choose different sizes of the scoop. To change the sizes, press E and Q or roll the mouse wheel. All right, I'm rolling the mouse wheel. That's the most convenient for me. You can collect the ingredient by clicking left mouse every time you use a scoop or pressing holding while holding the spoon will refill itself one by one. All right, collect ingredients into the bowl. All right, so the wheat flour, we need 150 grams. So I'm gonna roll my, my spoon up to 150. And then we need to go back down to 50. Okay, and the water we need 60. So let's do one and we'll go two fives. And the milk we need 60. So we'll do a 50 and two fives. There we go. And the yeast we need six grams. 
So we'll do a five and a one. Very nice. And the sugar, we need three grams. We'll do one, two, three. Great. Good job. Now you can mix all the ingredients, okay? Transfer the dough to the mixer by pressing left mouse button on the bowl. Now press the button on the mixer casing and wait for the dough to be ready. Watch the widget carefully so you don't overmix the batter. Alright, so it's showing this, this little, little pie chart here. It's telling us our circles, telling us when it's done. Alright. Don't you think the mixing process could be a little shorter? We have the perfect solution for that. Upgrade the machine. To check the upgrade options point at the mixer's bowl. Oh, to check the upgrade options, point at the mixer's bowl and press the U. You will see an upgrading option. Just push the purchase button to buy it. Okay, we own this. And turbo mode allows the speed of the mixing process by holding, holding the button. Very nice. We can purchase that. Oh, we got an achievement. Press left on the mixer to take the dough back into the bowl. Put the dough on the forming board. Okay. Buns are formed with bare hands. Put down the bowl onto the table in the middle of the bakery. All right. How do I put down the bowl? Oh, there we go. It's got a highlight. Okay, next, the dough must be divided into smaller portions and formed. Press left mouse button on the forming board. There are various forms of pastries, from long bread to croissants. As you gain more and more experience, you will learn how to create different forms. But for now, you need to form buns. Round breads. Buns. Dividing dough is the first mini game. Wait for this indicator to reach the green area. Press spacebar. If you do it in the red or yellow area, you will receive minus points to the final score. Okay. There we go. Forming the dough is the second mini game. Grab the ring and move the mouse to match images with their shadows. Okay, so it's pretty cool, little mini game. Now put your freshly formed buns on the tray. To do this, grab and hold the tray and click on the buns to move them. Uh, where's my tray? Where's my tray? You can also take one bun at a time and place it on the tray. Well, that's way faster. It's finally time to bake your buns. However, you have this just an old oven for now. Don't worry, you will acquire better ovens later in the game. To open the oven door, press on it. Put the trays with buns in the orange highlight area in the oven. Close the oven and wait for buns to bake. Be careful, this oven doesn't have a timer, so it's important to check the baking process from time to time. Alright, so this shows... This has a timer for each bun. You can check the bun status by pointing on the oven door, which, which is what I'm doing. When the baking widget appears, you will see the timer for each product, as well as its baking process. Looks like they're done to me. You can also open... Oh, now it's time to take the pastries out of the oven so they don't burn. Burn. Press tray to take it out. Let's close that back. You can find the delivery crate next to the door. The amount of delivery crates creates is always determined by the number of orders you picked up on the current day. Each delivery crate has the client's logo on the side to help you identify the correct crate. This one is going to be delivered to 5 Minute Bakery. That looks like 5 Minute Bakery to me. While holding the tray with baked pastries, press left mouse to the crate to place the buttons inside. 
There we go. Put the tray back on the top of the counter. Okay, now the last step, it's time to prepare the buns for delivery. Pick up the crate and place it in the orange highlight. The blue area next to the door, the crate will then be moved to the delivery car. There we go. Remember that later in game, you'll be able to stack crates on top of each other to deliver multiple orders. Now the order is ready for delivery. Move to the move to the door and press left mouse on it to leave the bakery. Here you can choose which order you want to deliver. You've got only one order available, so we've already picked it for you. Press the move to city button to move to the city. All right, here we go. Sparkling downtown. Look at our look at our ride here. We got very nice. Got the wing on the back. Yeah. This is not the end of your task. Delivering the orders is is as important as preparing them. During this part of your job, you have to be as fast as possible. Remember to watch the timer on the top of the screen. Okay. We got a little map down there in the bottom left. We got our speedometer. Later in game, you'll be able to hire a courier to deliver the orders for you. That will be nice, right? In the bottom left corner, you can see a mini-map that will help you navigate through the city streets. To check the whole view of the area, you can open the city map. Before we move further, press tab to open the radio menu. Here you can find some useful tools that can help you with the deliveries. Okay, we got the map, call for delay, add bonus time. Reset position, move to start point, and decline order. End day without ending orders, okay? Use escape to close the radial menu. Okay, now you're ready to make a delivery. Move your vehicle by using WSDA, use spacebar to brake. Alright. Let's get it done. Doesn't like we have. Doesn't look like we need to obey any traffic laws either. All right, I see a green circle over there. I'm guessing that's where we're going. Drive in into the car area and press R. Relationship improved. Okay, so we have a relationship. That's cool. We got five XP, earned 150 cash, 100% score, no delay. Very nice. Level one, one reputation. Today's rewards, golden bread, sourdough starter, plus 300 bowl capacity, okay. Very cool, back to bakery. Maybe it's time to take a little break from all that baking. Do you know what's always fun? Makeovers. It's time for a bakery renovation to give it a fresh feel, okay. To do this, press tab and choose the customization option. Alright. Point at the main table and press the left mouse button. Okay, this is the upgrade. Congratulations, you have just completed your first order. I got an achievement. Don't forget, what you've learned today, it will be useful in your further experience as a baker. Good luck. Alright, so that was just through the through the tutorial so now we're actually starting the real game uh, looks like we start out with five thousand dollars let's go let's do one job here do you want to check orders and start a new day yes all right so five minute bakery bakery wants one bronze bread confirm all right so we need, oh, we only have eight minutes to do it. All right, let's grab our bowl. There we get our spoon size, our scoop size. All right, so uh, rye flour, we need 500 grams. That's just one scoop of 500. Water, we need three. Do a two and a one. And then olive oil, we need 50. Yeast is five grams. Salt is five grams. 
Uh, do we, it's regular sea salt, but I guess that's okay. Yep, and sugar is two. Alright, I think we're good to go. We gotta mix it up. We got a timer up there. We only got six minutes left to make this, I guess. Whoops, not quite done. Now we're done. Alright, now we're going to go over here to the mixing board, I guess. Yep. And gotta put the bowl away. There we go. Now we've got to form it, and we want, we're making a bronze bread, so I guess that's a round bread. There we go. We have to uh, cut it. No, put it on the pan. Uh oh. Oh, I got it rolled out. That's wrong. I really messed that up. Okay, maybe I can do it again. Can I do it again? Okay, let's try this again. There we go. And this, this is kind of hard to see, but there we go. Now we're getting it. Okay, now. Grab a tray. Boom. 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 Now, does it, doesn't this speed it up? Let's boost. Press me. Yeah, I like it. Funny. <laughs> I'll bet I can't. I don't know if you can not use this very long. I'm not sure how that works. Uh, we are not going to make it on time. I can't watch, I can't do this and watch at the same time. Okay, we're almost done. Alright. Okay, there's my crate. There we go. Now we gotta deliver it. Why is it not letting me move? Move to city. Oh, it's not working right now? Call for delivery. Reports from the delivery company are ready. Let's see. Delivery company report. Five minute bakery delivered. Confirmed. Relationship improved? Okay, uh, I think, actually I think I read that. I think the delivery option is down right now. They're working on that patch, which is odd because it was in the tutorial, but, um, okay. Alright guys, well that was fun. Uh, we made a little money, and we've got, we've got a, uh, a new order. We can make two golden bread, and we'll get more orders, I'm sure. All right, guys, I'm in this one here. Hey, if you like this uh, this episode and like this game and you want to see more of it, let me know down in the comment section. Uh-oh, I left the oven open. So if you want to see more, let me know down in the comment section. We'll uh, keep baking. And once again, thanks to Live Motion Games for sending me a copy of this to check out. Uh, I like it. It's 
it's challenging. It's gonna be challenging because there's there's a timer for us, and we'll definitely get better at the mixing and the cooking once we go. So, once again, thanks for watching today. If you like it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, make sure that subscribe button. I do appreciate each and every one that subscribes. And come back and see me for more episodes of Bakery Simulator. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.